Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Gates, and today I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of how to factory data reset your Samsung S20 FE. You might want to do this because you're selling it on or giving it to another family member. This is a good way to make sure all your personal data is erased from the device and it's set up as a new smartphone to whoever you're giving it to. Now, first thing to do is unlock the device. So in this case, I'm on my home screen. I'll pull down the notification bar and in the top right, click on the cog for the settings menu. In the settings menu, you can go down to or just search for reset. So there we go. And second from bottom is an option called factory data reset. So factory data reset will delete everything from your phone wipe all your accounts and get you back. So you press reset, it will then ask you to enter your PIN number, and then it gives you a final warning saying all your personal information and downloaded apps will be erased and can't be recovered. Data that has been backed up to the SD card won't be erased. You can restore SD card data using a smart switch after the reset. So what I'm going to do is click delete all. Now obviously I'm performing Whoops, just a moment, send email. So in this case, you will be sent an email by Samsung to confirm deletion of your personal data. Okay, so Samsung have sent an email to your Samsung account to confirm your permission of, de of deletion of your personal data. I have done that, so we're ready to go. So I'll just press my multitask. That's done. It's now shutting down the smartphone. Now it's important to bear in mind, we're doing this with a Samsung S20 FE or a Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition smartphone. This process will be pretty much the same for any Samsung smartphone running One UI 5. In this case, it's One UI 5 based on Android 13. The process takes a few minutes. As you saw, there's a bit of a, a gate in terms of setting up your account and making sure all delete data is deletable. You need to enter your PIN number. It's not something that's done easily. And there's a good reason for that. You don't want your phone to be easily factory reset. But we've done that here. Uh, we've gone through the steps. And as you can see, now we see the Samsung logo and it's essentially going through its first boot. So here we are, we're back to uh, where we were when we picked up the phone as new. You will have the newer version of One UI and uh, Android on the device, but it will be in a state as if it were a new smartphone. So, thanks for watching if you made it this far in our quick how-to factory data reset a Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. As I said, this will work with any Samsung smartphone running One UI 5 and later. So thanks for watching. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. We cover consumer electronics, gadgets, accessories, and pretty much anything we think makes the travel experience better. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye from me.